Hello, my name is Jan Kuban. Thank you for visiting. If you are interested in life and life processes, you have come to the right place. I would like to introduce to you a new scientific discipline, the physics of life. Who should be interested in it? Well, everyone who is intrigued by the question of how life came into being and what life really is. And not only these people, because the scope of the physics of life is far wider than the answer to these fundamental questions. Richard Dawkins, when asked how life might have emerged, said it was a happy chemical accident. Nobel Prize winner Jack Shostak answered somehow. These were not convincing explanations, at least for me. More. I was sure that in nature there should be some strong causative factors which triggered life and then, consequently, developed all living objects into the forms we know now. As gravity inevitably causes objects to fall down, these factors inevitably created and shaped life. My passion, my non-biological education and years of research led me to the conclusion that biology is not enough to clearly explain all life processes. So in 2009 the physics of life was created a new scientific discipline incorporating biology, obviously, economy, since all living objects without exception actively absorb resources, it's economy, game theory, which studies situation when objects desire resources when there are not enough of them, a typical situation for all living objects, aeroelasticity, the discipline which helps to understand how biological evolution might have been triggered on the self-excitation principle. Information technology, due to which one may easily understand how information in general and genetic information in particular arise out of nothing. Chemistry, which explains the causative factors which resulted in the origin of life. Because there is no other way, these factors must have come from the properties of chemical particles. Systems theory and stability theory merge the aforementioned disciplines into the physics of life. So, you know what the foundations of the physics of life are. Now, let's talk about the topics which can really entice you. Information is an emergent property of matter. There are five fundamental properties of matter which initiated biological evolution. Biological evolution was triggered on the self-excitation principle. Darwin was wrong that natural selection is based only on the struggle for life. Darwin's famous tree of life is incorrect. Life contradicts the second law of thermodynamics. The mechanism which introduces novelties into subsequent generations of living objects is the simplest mechanism known in technology. It's a ratchet. To be more precise, the evolutionary ratchet. The economic law of comparative advantage explains why our cells differentiate. This is a list of fundamental issues to which the physics of life gives logical and consistent explanations. To entice you more, I will list some new concepts created and new phenomena discovered by the physics of life. The RPD phenomenon which triggered biological evolution. Synthesizing replicator, which can be considered as a transitional form between chemistry and life. Gerped evolution, the basic model of biological evolution. Tactics of structure and tactics of behavior. Because living objects play for resources the way they are built and the way they behave are simply nothing but tactics. Victory factor and evolutionary ratchet, two concepts which facilitate understanding of how biological evolution creates novelties. Absolute thinking, which is not a natural way of thinking and must be learned, but which allows for a broader view on life processes. Hecrogram, which replaces Darwin's famous tree of life. The four principles of the physics of life that combines together encapsulate all knowledge concerning life. They define the relationship between matter, 
the processes that the matter generates and the feedback of these processes on the matter. They laid the foundation for the physics of life and enabled cognitive models to be built. The laws of life, which describe the relationships between chemical particles and the living objects which are created from them. The five organizational levels of living objects. Living objects are organized like Russian Matryoshka dolls. Those of higher organizational levels are composed of living objects from the lower levels. Matrix, a space of false messages produced by humans in which we live and which influence our behavior. Natural pressure for social exploitation. The natural mechanism functioning in social groups which favors unproductivity and explains flaws in the human social systems. All these were brought together to create logical and consistent theories of how life might have started and developed over subsequent generations. More, the physics of life classifies existing knowledge in an understandable way. It has added new disciplines which allow us to answer the still unanswered questions. This leads to a far better and consistent understanding. For young biologists, it opens up a wide field of new research. Understanding life processes also means that you will be less prone to manipulation. How can you get acquainted to the physics of life? There are at least three directions. The first is the physics of life vocabulary website, which provides a lot of well-researched information on the topic. The second is the book The 59 Keys for Understanding the Beginning of Life which encapsulates the basic knowledge necessary for understanding how matter triggered the process of biological evolution, which, in reverse, organized this matter into objects such as us. The book is available as an e-book in Google Bookstore and on Amazon. The third direction is the Physics of Life YouTube channel. On there, you can find episodes with one of the biggest internet television channels in Poland. English subtitles are available. These episodes are grouped into several seasons. The first one, Change the way you think about life, is devoted to the different ways of thinking and biases which make life difficult to understand. The second, What, what is life, step by step, covers all that is needed to understand the mystery of the origin of life. The third season, The Physics of Humans, presents the nature of man and social systems. I hope that if we better understand both of them, we will be able to create more just social systems without wars, hatred and deception. Improve your understanding of life by studying the physics of life. The Physics of Life, a significant step forward in life sciences.